leave for my Sunday church so I just want to say to you hi again welcome to my channel it's Ella OFW of Hong Kong hello good morning it's already October 13 and what time is it it's 9 10 so I just want to say thank you again for all my fiber person first and for all because if not with you I'm not going to pursue my being a blogger because there is a time really that can feel depressed can feel the stress not having a time to video because of too much pressure to my work so it's nice to see you again and maybe while I'm on the way my church um, maybe we can see each other again uh, I just want to show you my my dress again this is what I'm wearing like that that is my dress very Sunday yes because the last time that I lost my video usually I show my my nice dress so this is the way we dress every time we went to the church not wearing any not wearing any color of the dress as long as it's white and as long as it's clean and presentable and actually we are uh, we are wearing a barong if you if you knew barong this was bought in the Philippines I have also I might be wear that some other time and probably uh, some special occasion I'm only wearing that because you know guys it's quite expensive to buy barom that was cost me 6,000 pesos when I bought it so it's really very occasionally I'm going to wear that so as of now for my regular Sunday this is the one I'm wearing that I bought in uh, this is bought in Wanko and same as this as long as it's white and actually it's sleeveless so to become formal I have to wear something on the top of it so I just want to show you my early Sunday morning that I have to attend the church from 10 to 1 o'clock <clears throat> and then we're having a excuse me we're having a meeting and our lunch time so still a bit busy every Sunday but <clears throat> by, uh, but anyway I still going to in uh, make sure that I can video for you my day-to-day -day life in Hong Kong being here for many many years already so thank you again guys i see you again later again bye good morning guys how are you uh this is ella ofw of hong kong welcome to my channel uh today is monday i don't have a chance again to vlog to you yesterday it's uh, busy. Oh, it's right now. It's raining, guys. Look, it's raining outside. Finally, oh, what a heavy rain! So I just want to update to you guys what's going on. Uh, yesterday about the uh, happening here in Hong Kong well as I know because I haven't seen news yet but it's it's more on silent yesterday and last Saturday 
so i think um, because it's been more than uh one month that they protesting this this kind of uh things that they asking to the hong kong government so maybe it's time for them to to keep silent now um silent yesterday yes although i i never be i have not been though to central but um it's silent but still they have some protesting in some parts of hong kong as i heard because you know every sunday is really quite busy for us to go around because we have a lot of things to do in our church so so i rather um not to bother myself for those things that which is not well to tell you honestly it's not really important for me because we have a lot we have so busy in our church so guys uh we speak in tagalog now yun ang kaganapan dito sa hong kong is very silent yesterday so kung isipin po natin from more than a one na nagpo-protesta po sila. Well, sila lang po ang nalulugi honestly because ang dami po nilang sinira. They destroy a lot of uh, mga mga bagay dito sa Hong Kong like the MTR station is a train station. They destroy some uh, exit, like they broke those glasses and those uh, machine that you have inserted the, the cards or the octopus that you have to punch it. They destroy that. So, actually, malaki ang mawawalang pera sa kaba ng Hong Kong. Because there is a time talaga na huminto ang lahat ng MTR, all the station from Hong Kong to Chun Moon and Chun Wan and some other parts ay in-stop po nila dahil nga grabe ang mga protester. Bigla-bigla po silang na, na, naninira. So I have a friend yesterday that she heard some noise down to their building that is around, ano na po, around... 11 or 12 at night and then in the morning they found out that they destroy one of the MTR station they destroy the machine they did they this they broke the glasses they they put uh, uh, they write on the wall so it was really dirty dinumihan nila mga wall po sa central ganun din po May mga wall po silang sinulatan like po dun sa tram. Yung tram po yung maliit na train na umaandar po around Hong Kong din. Uh, yung mga billboard, sinulatan din po nila. So, sila, di, sila rin po ang ha-harvest noon kasi instead na they presenting their country as a business country, I mean, a business place where people can come and put up a business then what are they going to show to to other nearby countries hindi na po nila mapagmamalaki kasi kasi actually yung hinihingi nila napaka impossible din po na ibigay well they have to really uh, balance everything kasi hindi rin naman po basa-basa na na ibigay din nila itong lugar nila sa China country. Although this is really from China. And this is China. It's only having a special administration uh, the region. Kaya, napaka-imposible po. But anyway, yun po mga kaganapan dito kahapon. At nag-church nga po ako. Uh, eto po napatulog ko na yung alaga ko 
And then, wala rin po yung amo kong babae. It's a little bit mess. Chill po siya. Siguro nga po mga gano na ang ano. Ang temperature po natin. Uh, weather. So, oh, sa New York po. 16 degree na siya. Wow. Uh, 25 po. Look. It's 25 degrees. So, meaning, started na po talaga ang winter. Ah, nata winter. Parang ano pa lang po. Ah. Ano yun? Fall season? Spring. Spring na yun. Oh no! Like 25 degrees na po. Meaning, hindi na po mainit. And beside, dumuulan na po. So, yun po ang kaganapan dito sa Hong Kong. Ang kaganapan naman po dito sa aming bahay, ay napakalaki po ng kaganapan kasi para po hinalipay ang buong bahay. At hindi ko po alam kung saan ako mag start Talaga po pala ang Monday I wear our start all over again. Where am I going to start? My goodness. Bakit po sila ganito? They don't care. Why, why, why? Delilah po. Mga guys, alam niyo po, I'm really waiting na na maging mapag-isa po ako dito dahil uh, iniisip ko na po yung i-bibidyo ko po sa inyo na mga easy cook like po nung scone bread na inilagay ko po nung isang linggo sa aking uh, sa aking vlog yung bread po na yun my guys is napaka nutritious and napaka easy it's my dream come true guys na makaalam ng isang klase ng bread na it's easy for me to do it kasi love ko rin po ang pagbibaking I love baking I'm, I'm hoping that someday that I can uh, find some easiest bread for me to bake. Kasi, yun po yung dream, is dream ko dahil alam ko yung making a bread is doing a lot of uh, imamas mo po siya. So, medyo masakit po yung sa braso. Kaya, itong bread na po, itong scone bread, hindi po siya imamasa actually. I, I, ano lang po siya, imimix. Mixing, mixing lang po siya actually. Yun ang sinabi ng amo. So, hindi po siya totally imamasa. Uh, madali lang po. Kaya gusto ko pong itry para makagawa na lang po ko ng bread na gusto ko finally na makagawa. like, click the button, subscribe, click the bell, comment, and share. Thank you so much po guys. See you in my next video and God bless po.